Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are here with a bunch of stuff that I bought at Lidl. We just got a Lidl in Greensboro. See? Now they just opened on Wednesday. Today was the first day I was able to go. Um, and I know the last time I talked about Lidl, some of you corrected the pronunciation of the store's name. I did confirm with three employees in the Lidl store that Lidl is pronounced Lidl. That's what they told me. And I figure if they don't know, then we're in trouble. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be pronouncing it as Lidl. If you don't pronounce it that way, it's totally fine. But we're going to look at the stuff I found there today. I was overall, I was really impressed with the store. Um, of course, it was Evie's playing with the toy. Of course, it was really crowded, you know, because they just opened three days ago. They were actually so busy, they had people out there directing traffic. Um, they have kind of um, a medium-sized parking lot in the front, and then around the side, there's a larger parking lot that kind of runs along the length of the building. Um, it's uh, It was really nice. I was very impressed with the, uh, the, the uh, bakery section. It was really impressive. They had a lot of a lot of really yummy looking items. Um, I actually only got one thing at the bakery today, but I'm looking forward to trying other things from there. Um, it was it was a beautiful store, absolutely beautiful. It was definitely uh, fancier than Aldi, although the the concept is kind of the same. Uh, a lot of the layout looks, you know, basically the same. Um, I did notice you don't need a quarter. I brought a quarter because I wasn't sure if it was like Aldi. We have to put a quarter in the cart. You don't have to do that, at least in, at the uh, Greensboro uh, Lidl. And that's actually a picture of it right there. That's it. They have been working on construction for months of this store. And it's kind of weird because it's actually almost in the backyard of a Harris Teeter. It's really kind of weird that it is so close to another supermarket like that. Um, it is actually facing the Harris Teeter gas station, which is really weird, but um, I thought the prices were really good compared to Aldi. They're, I mean, they're comparable. If you've been to both stores, you probably noticed the, the prices seem to be about the same. Some things were even less expensive at Lidl. So, um, will I forsake Aldi for Lidl? I don't know. Um, convenience is a factor. Um, Aldi's closer. But I thought the shopping experience at Lidl was a little better. But it was crowded, so it, it may be even better later on when it's not quite so crowded. Um, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a few more times and see how, how I feel about it. I was, I was very impressed. I really was. The shopping carts were great. They have these great, big, beautiful carts, and they roll <laughs> every time I go to Walmart. They got new carts a few months ago, but they're already trashed, like they're all messed up already. Um, so, <laughs> But I want to show you the stuff I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I did get a few things. And actually, I also went to Aldi, and I have one thing from there that I want to show you just because it's really pretty, and it's something they just got in. And you might want to go check it out. First of all, I apologize for my hair. Um, my son ran a 5K this morning and it was freezing. And I had this little hat on. <laughs> and it squished my hair. And now it, it's, it was extremely windy and very cold. And so my hair is all mushy now. But I apologize. <laughs> um, yeah. So let me show you the thing from Aldi first. I found this. Look at this beautiful cable knit throw. Now they had these in an ivory color and a gray and blue and red. This is actually the last red one that they had right here. Isn't that pretty? It is so soft and velvety. It is 100% um, polyester, luxuriously soft. It's wrapped in a dyed to match ribbon. It's 50 inches by 60 inches. And it is really thick. Look at that. It's very nice and thick. Um, it was $14.99. I may actually go back and pick up a few more, uh, like for Christmas presents. That's probably what this one's going to be. It's probably going to be a, a Christmas present. Um, I have tons of these 
kind of thing. So I don't really need one. I, I grabbed it because it was the last one. And I wanted to save it as a gift. I'm not sure exactly who for yet, but I have a couple of people in mind who might like to have that. So that was my one thing from Aldi. Now at Lidl, they do have their own brands of stuff. And I'm really interested in trying some of their brand, some of their house brand stuff to see how it compares. So that's what some of this is. Let me try to get the crinkly stuff out of the way first. Now, I have one item here from the bakery. They had so many breads and pastries. It was amazing. Let me see. They had a little sale going on the... Uh, it's Evie's tearing up a, a scratchy tree. They had set the sale on bakery items. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I grabbed two pretzel rolls because my kids love... <laughs> my kids love pretzel rolls. So I thought I would get these. They were only 69 cents each and you get the second one for half price. Look how pretty they are. Look at that. Little, little pretzel rolls. They, um, sometimes they have these at Harris Teeter, but it seems like every time I go to Harris Teeter to get their pretzel rolls, they're out. They never have any. I don't know why that is, but they're always out. So, they're going to be really excited to see these. Because we actually have not been able to have pretzel rolls in a while. Because they're always out at Harris Teeter. Okay. Oh, and they had uh, green seedless grapes. This is another favorite around here. The kids love to snack on these grapes. These were only 69 cents a pound. Now I do understand that a lot of the, these prices are probably because they just opened, they're trying to attract people to the store. But 69 cents a pound, I couldn't pass that up. <laughs> I understand they're probably not always gonna be 69 cents a pound, but it was still a really good deal. Look at these big, beautiful grapes. Now these are uh, from the USA. But these are such a great snack. You just keep these around. The kids love them. Comes with a little handle up here too. A little handle. Um, it has a zipper seal. Kind of like a little Ziploc seal in there as well. Right, it's not sealed up right now. But yeah. 69 cents a pound. Um, I, wasn't really, I wasn't really sure what to expect when I went in there. So I brought my quarter, which I did not did not need, um, and I brought my own bags because I wasn't sure. I assumed it would be like Aldi where you have to bring your own bags, but you don't actually. And they were so on the ball, let me tell you. I got up there. They were already bagging things as fast as I could get them up on the belt. The cashier was scanning it and they had two people bagging before I could even say, hey, I have bags. They already had almost all of it done. So I got a couple little bags. They don't use plastic bags, they only use paper. This is pretty, look, it has, I guess that's like watermelon and kiwi, a little pear and a strawberry, blueberries and grapes. We have all different types of food items on here. Now these bags, these bags have handles, which is wonderful. I will reuse these bags a hundred times. I use these kind of bags for everything. These groceries cost a lot less. Lidl Rethink Grocery. So yeah, I was actually really glad to get the bags because I have a couple from Harris Teeter and they're almost worn out. Like I will use them until they just fall apart and then I recycle them. So I was actually kind of glad to get a couple more. <laughs> um, oh, oh, they had brand name Pepperidge Farm uh, Herb Seasoned Stuffing, which I wanted to get. It's crinkly. Now I want to make I want to make some uh, turkey stuffing at Thanksgiving, and this is the kind my mom used to always use. And to me, this is the only kind I want to get. You get the Pepperidge Farm seasoning, the stuff, the stuffing with the herb seasoning, classic, and it has the blue. It's blue at the top and white down here, and then it's also blue at the bottom, and it will say herb seasoned. Um, 
it's super easy. Um, we might make a video making it. I haven't, I haven't really decided yet. If you have some leftover turkey, you just kind of shred it. You know, you just kind of cut it and tear it apart into little bits. Just little, little pieces. And you mix it in with this. Um, and I think you add an egg to it and some celery. Cut the celery up small and add some broth to it. And you mix it all together. It's going to make a mushy, kind of a mushy mix. But then you bake that. You put, you spread it out on a pan and you bake it in the oven at 350 until it's nice and crispy on top. Um, and then you can cut it and eat it like a piece of bread. It's almost like a piece of cornbread in a way. It's really, really good. Um, it's, it's super easy to make. Um, when I was a kid, that was one of my favorite things that my mom would make was a pan of stuffing. We called what was dressing. We called it a pan of dressing. It's one of my favorite things about leftover turkey. We never did a lot at Thanksgiving. We just, my family never did anything. You know, we didn't have family over. We didn't go anywhere. Um, at the most, my mom would like, she would buy a turkey breast and cook that. And we might have a can of cranberry sauce. I mean, that was about it. But the leftover turkey, because my dad hates turkey. So he never, he never wanted it. She would have to make a whole separate meal for him because he hates turkey. But we would take some of the leftover turkey and make that dressing. That was my favorite part, was the dressing. So, there's that. And I also wanted to try their mashed potatoes. Now, these are mashed potatoes by Lidl. That's pretty cool. They are naturally flavored. It's just a little pouch. And it's made with real potatoes. This is a four-ounce pouch. It's really easy to make. Um, you just mix it with some water. Now you bring the water to a bowl and then you mix in the flakes and stir it up and that's it. So this is the butter flavor right here. Just the plain butter flavor. Um, just, these are just little potato flakes. It's one of the easiest things in the world you can make. So I'm going to try that. And I also got mashed potatoes by Lidl for cheese. It is also naturally flavored, and it has four different cheeses in it. We don't know what those four cheeses are. They're not going to tell us. Um, but it's distributed by Lidl US LLC. And I saw that on all the Lidl items, Lidl US LLC. So we have a four cheese flavored mashed potatoes. This is also four ounces, and this is their brand. So I'm Kind of tickled to try that. Oh, this was not something I meant to get when I went in there. I didn't know what I would get when I went in there. I went in, th I went in there thinking, well, I might get nothing or I might get a bunch of stuff. We'll see how it goes. It was really crowded, so it was kind of hard to look at everything because there were just so many people in there. Um, so I didn't really get to look at everything like I wanted to. I'm looking forward to going back in a week or two when it kind of calms down a little bit, like maybe on a weekday it might not be so crowded oh and they also play really loud music in there so i may try to make a video in there at a later date but that loud music is going to be a problem um i'm just gonna have to play it by ear at this point but they had a lot of christmas decorations they had um artificial trees that you could buy in all different sizes there's some really pretty I don't like little tabletop trees they're about this big maybe about 12 inches tall. Really cute, they were $7.99 and they were pre-lit and everything, they were so cute. But these are 12 little glass ornaments. Now I got these mainly because they're burgundy and I'm still looking for burgundy stuff to decorate that golden burgundy wreath I keep talking about. Um, I, yeah, they were, I think they were $1.99. But I thought these would look really pretty and see the string is gold also. So it looked perfect. I could take some of these and put them on my gold and burgundy wreath. Just uh, work them in there. Just use these yellow ties to just tie them in there. Or use a hot glue gun or whatever. So I might incorporate these into my uh, burgundy and gold wreath. I'm having a hard time finding burgundy stuff for that wreath. I found a bunch of gold, but not a lot of burgundy. And this was just really cute. 
here we have a little angel candle wrapped in cellophane. It's just plain. It doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't have any decorations or anything. And it's tied at the top with a little faux suede cord. And they have little gold or no little wooden beads at the end. It's just super cute. It has a vase here. There's a plastic piece attached to the bottom to make it a little more stable to keep it from being as likely to tip over. I thought that was really nice. So it's just a, a cute little angel candle. They had a wide variety of candles. They had wax candles and LED candles. I was surprised at the variety that they had. And I also got, this is the prettiest wrapping paper. I love this. I got gold and silver full wrapping paper and it has glitter all over it. It is completely covered in glitter, silver and gold. And they had, um, they had red glitter and green glitter. I think these were $1.99. Now these were made by Melanera. Melanera. It is a product of Germany. That's pretty cool. The German flag is everywhere in there. You will see the German flag on everything in Lidl. I don't really see that so much in Aldi. You don't really see it, but it's prominent on the products and on the shelves in Lidl. It was really, it was really interesting to, to notice that difference. And I think um, Lidl, is, I think it's a larger store than Aldi by a little bit. Um, they also had more they had more frozen foods. They had a lot more OTC over-the-counter stuff. A ton of that. They had a lot of OTC stuff. Way more than Aldi does. I was really impressed with their selection. Um, that is a definite selling point for me. Um, they had a wide variety of toothpastes, um, you know, shampoos, all kinds of hair stuff that I've never seen before. I kind of want to try it different types of shampoos and hair treatments. They even have some cosmetics, which they don't have at Aldi. They have, I just picked up this little thing of foundation. I don't need it, I just want to try it. It's fa Fave, I guess, F-A-V, has the line over it. I've never heard of this. The color is natural beige. It's a little one ounce tube of, um, of foundation. I don't know, it might not be the right color for me. I tried the little tester and it looked okay, but sometimes the lighting in the store, it, you think it looks good and then you get home and put it on and realize it doesn't. But I think it was only $2 or $3, so I'm not really worried if it's if it's not okay. But so they had foundation, um, lipstick, they had a bunch of lipstick, mascara, lip gloss, eyeshadow, I mean, I didn't see any pressed powder, but they did have some other items. That was kind of cool. Oh, and they have nail polish. They don't have a ton of colors, but they had probably six colors of nail polish. Also from Fave, I guess, or Fav, Fave, I don't know. I got this one. It is, um, the color is Berry Picking. It's a really pretty, uh, sort of a, I don't know what you call that. It's not really purple, but it's not really pink either. It's like in between. It's kind of a berry color, I guess. But when I redo my nails, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. The nail polish was $1.99. Oh, here's another crinkly thing I missed. Now, being being on a low carb diet, um, I really like a snack like this, like some pecans. I like to keep a bag of pecans around just for a snack. I'll just have a handful of, of these or almonds, you know. They had these really nice looking premium quality shelled pecans. Um, this is a 10 ounce bag. And for the shelled pecans, it was only $4.79, which I thought was a really good deal because I, I hate, I hate having to crack the pecans. It just, I, I like to buy them already shelled. So um, I usually buy these at Aldi. They were a little bit cheaper at Lidl. So I'm going to try them. I imagine they're fine. I mean, I've, 
I don't know how you screw up pecans, really, so I'm sure they're good. But let me see here. This is premium quality, exclusively at Lidl. That's what it says on the back there. Yeah, so let me see here. Yeah, I mean, they, they do have, they have one gram of net carbs per serving. That's why I like pecans. They, they're pretty low in carbs, which is nice. They're a little bit expensive, though, so I, I try to ration them out and make them last longer. Oh, they had this uh, canned cat food here. It's called Koshida. Koshida. Um, it's also made by Lidl, Lidl US, LLC. They had a bunch of different flavors. Now they had the pate type, and they also had the chunked food. The pate they call mousse, which I've seen on um, Sheba also. I think Sheba calls it pate, but they, they have it in, uh, sometimes they'll call it mousse. Um, this is a little three ounce, little aluminum, I guess it's aluminum container of cat food. Now I usually get the Sheba wet food for the cats, and I split between them one can in the morning and one in the evening, and they have dry food out all the time with water. But I thought we would try these. These are some interesting flavors. This one is chunks with gravy and chicken, with in gravy with chicken and turkey for cats. Little kitty there. So we'll see if they like that one. And I also got there. This one is a mousse right here. Pretty gold container. It is mousse with Atlantic cod. I don't think they've ever had cod before, so that should be interesting. Um, it is certified sustainable seafood. That's cool. Let's see if they like that. They get ornery when I change their food. Um, they're really picky about it. I just recently changed their dry food. I used to get um, Iams Indoor Formula dry food for them, but Walmart recently stopped carrying it, so I switched to um, Blue Buffalo Indoor Cat Formula. They love it. They absolutely love it. And within a week or so, their fur was even softer. The Iams made a big difference in their coat, but when I switched to the Blue Buffalo, it got even softer still. Now, it's more expensive than the Iams, but um, they don't need a lot of it. A small bag lasts at least two or three weeks, so that's okay. Okay, so this is Kushida also. This is chunks in gravy with fish and shrimp. Doesn't say what kind of fish, just generic fish, I guess. Fish and shrimp. And I got one more. Oh, look at this kitty. It's a cute little kitty cat there. This is moose with chicken for cats. This was the one I picked up first. I kind of thought they would like this one, but then I decided to be adventurous and get the other ones as well so they could try them and I'll just see how they react and see if they like it. I'm sure they will. I think I think they'll like it. These were, um, I think these were 69 cents. Now these are bigger than the Sheba wet food containers. Um, you know, you get two of them and you can, they're perforated and you can break them apart. I give them one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to split those. I just have to see. All right. Look at this precious can of store brand green beans. It's just, it is delightfully generic. Look at that. It reminds me of cans of food from back in the 70s. I don't know why. It just looks like, it looks like a can of food from back when I was a kid. And it just has this little sign stuck in the green beans. And it just says cut green beans. This was only 49 cents. Now this is a 14 and a half ounce can. Now I am a staunch Del Monte green beans fan. I don't like Aldi's green beans. They, they taste weird. They have this funny taste to them. So I went back to Del Monte. But I'm always looking for a good alternative to Del Monte. Because um, a Del Monte, I think, is about a dollar a can, and this is half that. So I thought I would try these just to see um, how they taste compared to Del Monte. And they do have the pop top, which I really like. You can just pop it open. You don't have to go looking for the uh, the can opener, which is always cool. So I'm, I'm curious to see how they compare to not only Del Monte, but Aldi. Because their canned green beans are just... 
tried several of their canned vegetables and honestly, I don't really like them that much. The canned corn is okay. The green beans I didn't like at all, so I didn't buy any more of those. Now this item right here is going to make my younger son so happy. I make sure he flosses every day and he hates mint flavored floss picks, which most of them are. It seems like you can't find flossers that aren't mint flavored. Well, I found some at uh, Lidl. I keep wanting to say Aldi. I found some at Lidl. Um, these are three in one. It's a floss, a tongue scraper, and a dental pick. And you get a pack of 64 and they're not uh, flavored or scented or anything. They're just plain. And he seems to do better using these than just a piece of dental floss. So anything that would help, I want to get for him. So yeah, you get 64 of these. And he doesn't know about these yet. He's actually going to be pretty tickled with these. We just ran out of the mint flossers, so I can give him those. Okay, and then I found a can of premium chicken. This is cooked chicken breast with rib meat in water. Um, I like the Swanson's canned chicken. This is really good if I want a little snack, if you're doing a low-carb diet. Um, a tuna is another good thing, but I don't like fish. I don't like fish of any kind. Ugh, I don't like seafood at all. I don't, I don't care for it. it. Just I've never liked fish or seafood. Um, but I do like chicken. And they, you can get smaller cans as well, but it's expensive. The Swanson stuff is. So I thought I would give this a try. Um, it has no carbs at all. It is 98% fat free. Um, this is a Lidl brand, exclusively at Lidl. You notice with Aldi stuff, it will have a name like Benton's or Clancy's. I noticed that Lidl stuff really doesn't. If anything, it just says Lidl on the front. But this is just, this has like no brand name at all. So it does not have a pop top, but that's okay. You just have to cut it. Um, and you can use this. Um, you can eat it just like it is. Sometimes I'll just take it and add a little salt to it. Or I'll, put a, I'll mix it with a little bit of low-carb barbecue sauce and heat it up a little bit. Um, and eat it with some uh, Parmesan crisps. It's really good. Or the cheddar crisps. It's a nice little a nice little snack. So I'm going to try that and see how it is. And I got the most adorable little can of whole kernel sweet corn. They didn't have any regular size cans. They had creamed corn in big cans, but no whole kernel corn. But I did want to try it. I wanted to see how it compared. And again, it just looks like one of those old um, cans of corn. Although I remember, I'm old enough to remember when the generic stuff it would just have a white label and it would just say corn in big black letters on it. It would just say corn. It didn't have it didn't have any color or anything. You could get cereal like that, canned vegetables, bread. It was very plain, just very black and white. Um, and it was kind of depressing to eat it. I think it affected the way you it tastes when it comes in just this plain container. Um, my mom used to buy it though. And I just, it might have been in my mind, but it never tasted quite right because it came in that plain box or that plain can. But this reminds me of old. <laughs> the picture, I don't know, it just reminds me of old canned stuff. But you have this picture of the corn with the little sign in it that says whole kernel sweet corn. Now this is just an 8.75 ounce can, a little baby can. It does not have a pop top. But I thought we would try it. My kids hate creamed corn. Oh, they despise it. So I didn't want to get that. Uh, so I thought I would try this and see how they like it. So I also got, they had uh, corn on the cob, you know, the little sections in the frozen section. Um, I, that's in the freezer, though. I had to go ahead and put that away. Uh, my younger son is probably going to be getting braces in about three months or so. So he has to enjoy corn on the cob now because once you have braces, they say you're not supposed to eat it off the cob because it can mess up your brackets. So you can eat it off the cob, off the cob that's fine. But he loves corn on the cob. And they also, my kids also like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And here we just have classic chicken noodle condensed soup. 
And this is the same size as a can of chicken noodle soup from Campbell's. And it also has the pop top, but it's only 45 cents. They have a wide variety of um, condensed soups um, and soup that you don't add any water to, just the regular soup. And it's very inexpensive. I was impressed with the variety of soups they had. And again, there's no brand name or anything. We're just not even going to bother giving it a name. It is just classic chicken noodle soup. 45 cents. They also have the um, tomato soup like this. I think it was 49 cents. I didn't get any of that, though. Um, let's see. So, yeah, it's it just says on the back, distributed by Little US LLC. So, you make it just like you do Campbell's chicken noodle soup. But I thought I would have my younger son try it and see if he likes it. I only got the one can. So, we'll just see if they like it. If they like it, I'll go get more. So... I'll let him try that and see what he thinks about it. And I also found now I've seen this before. This is not a Lidl brand. This is from Boone Brands out of Sanford, North Carolina. It is Mrs. Fear Fearno Fearnail Fearnail Fearno. I've seen this stuff before, but I don't know how you pronounce that. Delicious. They're already telling you it's good. You don't even have to try it. They're already telling you it's delicious. Brunswick stew with chicken from Hope Farm. It is all natural and gluten free. This is a 20 ounce can of Brunswick stew and it comes with a pop top. Now I know it is not going to compare to Country Barbecue's Brunswick stew in Greensboro, North Carolina. They make the best Brunswick stew. It is so good. I kind of want to go get some because I got really cold out there this morning when my son was running the 5k it was it was cold but the biggest problem was it was super windy if it hadn't been windy it wouldn't have been that bad but it was really really windy and it would just cut right through you i was bundled up like i was i was bundled up like a little eskimo but i still got really cold <laughs> i wouldn't mind having a hot a hot bowl of uh, brunswick stew right now um, but yeah, I thought I would let my older son try this. Now, he and I love Brunswick stew. My younger son doesn't like it, but um, sometimes I will go get Brunswick stew for my older son and me to enjoy because we, we love Country Barbecue's Brunswick stew. But I thought I would leave this here for him to try. A lot of days when he gets home on the bus, he's really hungry, so he'll come in the kitchen and, and try to find something that he can heat up and eat quickly. Um, so I try to keep a variety of stuff like this, um, or sandwich stuff, or, you know, fruits. He, you know, like, keep oranges and apples if he wants that. Um, but I don't have any Brunswick stew. I thought he might like to try that to see how he likes it. And I'm running out of salt, so I got this really cool salt grinder. I think it was three not $3.99. Look at this big thing, and it's glass. Like, you could put a hurting on somebody with this thing, and it's almost like it's ergonomically designed, like during the zombie apocalypse. You bring this down, catch that corner right on a temple, you're going to take them out. You have to hit them twice and make sure you destroy the brain, but I mean, you could probably do that with this. Look at that pretty pink salt. Mm. This is Himalayan salt. It's called Pink Rock Salt. Now, this was in the fancy section of Lidl. This was in the Lidl Preferred Selection aisle. They had all kinds of cool stuff. They had lots and lots of German goodies, all kinds of German chocolates and pastries and yummy things with names I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, but it was really crowded over there, so I didn't really get to look at it like I wanted to. But I knew I was running low on salt, so I went ahead and grabbed one of these. I, I figured at that price, you can't beat it. And the grinder is up here. So you just turn it. There's this got a plastic seal. You just turn it and get your salt that way. So I got some salt. That was exciting. Um, oh, I got a treat for the cats. Now, I've seen these before. They have these at Walmart, but I've never bought them. Um, these are from Sheba. That's the wet food I get for them. These are meaty tender sticks with chicken. 
and you get one, two, three, four, five of these tinder sticks in here. I don't know if you just give them the whole thing or, let's see, easy for easy breaking and chewing. So I guess you just break off a piece and give it to them. But I got the chicken flavor because they usually like chicken flavored stuff. So I thought I would see if they like these meaty tinder sticks from Sheba. They were, I did notice they were cheaper at Lidl than they are at Walmart. So I thought I would just grab some and, and give it a try. Plus, um, if you, well, if you're near the Lidl in Greensboro since it's their opening weekend, if you download their app there at the welcome table when you first come in, you get $5 off your purchase. Um, with your, you get five dollars off your first purchase using the app. So I have the Lidl app now, and uh, so I got five dollars off all this stuff. And these, these are like Pocky, the little the little biscuit sticks with chocolate on them. Uh, and my kids love those. These are chocolate cookie sticks by Lidl. They don't have another brand name on them. This cute little box. It's perforated here. So you can just open the top. You just kind of grab that little tab and pull it across. And you have these little twisty sticks. They're like little cookies with chocolate on them. They had milk chocolate and dark chocolate. I decided to go with the uh, milk chocolate. This is a 3.17 ounce box. Um, and you get three servings per container. So I guess there are three pouches in here of these little chocolate cookie sticks. So every now and then I, I let them have some of those as a little a little treat. Speaking of treats, they also have the uh, Temptations Kitty Cat Snacks. Um, my cats love these. They don't have these at Aldi. They have the Aldi uh, cat snacks, which my cats will eat them, but they like leave half of them. They'll eat one or two. I don't really like them that much, but they love the Temptations snacks. Now these are the mix-ups, and it's a really confusing picture. Like there's a lot going on there. You have like a a little disco chicken and a cat. It's like Saturday Night Fever or something, and it's raining leaves. I think it's supposed to taste like catnip, and then there's like a you know we're alluding to pot or something. I'm not really sure. Their pictures are hilarious. If you ever find yourself with nothing to do, go to the cat food section in a grocery store and just look at the pictures on the Temptations cat snacks package. Some of them are actually kind of kind of dark <laughs> and some of them are just hilarious. I don't know who designs them, but I'm, I'd like to hang out with them. I bet they're really, I bet they're funny. Let's see. Oh, pita crackers. Now, if you find a box of these at Aldi, they're always going to have a name on them like Clancy's. But again, these are just plain. You have a plain beige box of pita crackers. These are ancient grains with flax. Um, and they are from Lidl. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Lidl, U.S. So this is a little five ounce package, which may not sound like a lot, but they're very lightweight. So you actually get quite a few crackers in here. So these are just some yummy pita crackers. They're good with cheese or hummus or anything you like, I'm sure. Oh, and I grabbed this. This, uh, this actually has a name, Kitchen Ready. This is chicken broth. It was 99 cents for this container. It is 32 ounces of chicken broth. And I can use this to make my, my dressing, my pan of dressing. Um, I think for Thanksgiving this year, I'm not quite sure yet what we're doing, um, but regardless of what we do, I may go ahead and buy a turkey breast at the very least and make that. I might even do it before Thanksgiving because I'm not quite sure yet what we're doing um, and make a pan of dressing because I really want a pan of dressing. I know I'm, I'm low carb and I'm not supposed to have it, but I've just had a taste for dressing. I just want a pan of dressing so bad. So you mix in broth put an egg in there and your leftover turkey bits and celery and you can add other stuff if you want onion in there. Um, my parents despise onions so we never had onions in anything. I never even got to try onions until I went and spent the weekend at somebody's house when I was in elementary school and I think we had burgers or something and they put onion on it 
It's the best thing I ever had. I said, oh my goodness, it was so good. I discovered I loved onions. I had heard all my life how terrible onions were. I love them. <laughs> and then I picked up these. Look at these beautiful muffins. These are double chocolate muffins. We don't have a brand name or anything. And again, if you got these at Aldi, they would have a brand name of some sort, like um, Baker's Corner or Love and Fresh or something like that. This doesn't. We just have a pretty colorful piece of um, tape to seal the package. So you know it hasn't been opened or tampered with. You get four big double chocolate muffins, which means they are chocolate, but they also have chocolate chunks or chocolate chips in there. And they're really big. These were cheap. I think they were only $1.49 for four of these big muffins. And my kids, these will be gone. <laughs> these will be gone by lunchtime tomorrow. They will eat all of these. Um, it's 14 ounces of deliciousness for less than $2. I don't think that was the sale price. I think that was like the regular price. So we'll see how the prices hold out after the store's been open a little while. I did notice when I went into Aldi today that they have lowered the prices on a whole bunch of stuff since I was last in there um, last weekend. Pretty much everything I bought was at least 20 cents cheaper than it was the weekend before. And I think it is because Lidl is now open and they have competition. They're not super close to each other, but I think they're close enough that that Aldi now has some competition. So it may keep both of the stores in check. They may they have to keep an eye, I guess, on what the other one's charging. And, you know, it could be a good thing for us. Oh, and also, this has never happened before. I got a coupon at Aldi for $5 off my next purchase of $30 or more. I've never gotten that at Aldi. I've never gotten a coupon there. So I'm totally going to use it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to forsake Aldi. I still love Aldi. I have a special place in my heart for them. Um, plus, I like to go in there and see what kind of non-food seasonal stuff they have. I always find cool stuff in there. I'm not going to forsake Aldi. But Lidl is really, uh, it's really enticing, I will say. I found some sugar-free gum as well. These little pieces, these are strawberry lime, and they come in these cute little containers. It's sugar-free. And I also got this one. This one looks interesting. This is blackberry and melon. I've never tried blackberry and melon gum, so that should be uh, interesting to try. It's gotten darker in here. I gotta go. Let me turn the lights up a little bit. Okay, sorry. It's, it's actually starting to get a little dark outside, which is depressing. <laughs> but yeah, this is, you can actually see it now. Strawberry lime and blackberry and melon. This is really cool. Um, liquid burst. I think it has a filling in it. I'm not sure. But um, I thought I would try these and see how they are. I don't chew gum much. Every now and then I do. Um, I used to chew it a lot more. I've just kind of gotten out of the habit of it. Oh, now, when it comes to paper towels, I'm a huge fan of Bounty paper towels. I tried the equivalent at Aldi, and I did not like them. Um, I didn't think they worked anywhere as well as Bounty, and I would rather pay more and get the Bounty towels. But I thought I would give Lidl's a try. They have these ultra-strong paper towels, limited edition, so they're extra special. And they just have, like pictures printed on them. They have like snowflakes and trees. Um, and these are multi-size, which I really like. Um, so you could just tear off, you know, you don't need the whole great big thing if you just need a little bit. But I get two rolls of these. Then there it says compare to bounty, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how I like them because I, I love bounty paper towels. They're, I think, I just think they're the best. But they are expensive. Oh, they are. These are Rainforest Alliance certified. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So these are two giant rolls, which they say is the equivalent of four regular rolls. So I think they were $3. So I'm going to give those a try. Um, I would love to find something I liked as much as Bounty, but I keep going back to Bounty because they just work better. 
because I can use them, rinse them out, ring them, rinse them, ring them, and reuse them, and they don't fall apart. I can use them. I can use the same paper towel. Like I, I use them when I'm washing dishes, and then I use it to wipe up. I use them to wipe the counters down. You can use it over and over, and it's wonderful. And look what else I found. Oh, we're going to have fun with this. This is from Create a Treat, apparently. It's up here in this corner with the little swoopy thing, like the entail inside thing. This kit includes assorted candy and easy-to-use icing with the tip, so we can make our gingerbread house. Of course, that's going to be closer to Christmas. But they had these for only $6.99, and they come with the Easy Build Tray. And it shows you on the back how you do it. Super easy. You get the little pieces already made and little um, little candies here. You get mint, mini jellies. These things that are kind of like spree, pinwheels, and multicolored candy beads. And you get two decorating tips, the Easy Build Tray and the pre-made icing in white. It's royal icing. Now my house never ends up looking quite like this. Mine actually kind of ends up looking like a crack house, but it tastes good, and that's all that really matters. It mine never, mine never comes out this nice. It does. It ends up looking like something out of Breaking Bad or something. Okay, and that was it. But I did get a free bag. They they're giving away free bags this weekend. And they were almost out, so they may actually be out now. Um, but they had these really cool bags. It's these insulated bags. Little Rethink Grocery. This thing is massive. I actually have one of these from Aldi, so now I have one from Lidl. I had to buy the one from Aldi. They never they never gave me a bag. Lidl gave me a bag. Totally free. And it has little popsicles all over it. This is a huge bag. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. Made in Germany. That's awesome. Don't let your baby get in there. Don't give it to your child to play with. That's bad. But um, these bags really come in handy in the summertime. Um, if I'm going to the store and it's super hot outside, I can always take a couple of those bags and put my refrigerated stuff in there or the frozen stuff. And it really does help insulate it and keep it cold better. It really does. So um, I always try to bring one of those with me. And now I have an extra one, so that's awesome. So that I believe is... Oh, oh no, I got one more thing. It's on the floor. I got a, a mat for Christmas. They had these great big choir, C O I R, I don't know how you say it. These big mats. They had a bunch of different designs. I decided to go with this one. And they were they were only $6.99 for those. Um, um, I, I end up getting a new one every year, I think, basically, because the, the design wears out pretty quickly, so by, usually by the end of the season, it's kind of worn out. I did reuse my, my fall mat from last year. It actually still looks really good, but I thought that would be a cool one for Christmas. So, yeah, I usually get them at Aldi, but Aldi doesn't have theirs yet. So, Aldi's going to have to step it up a little bit, I'm telling you. I am really impressed with Lidl. Um, so, yeah, Aldi's, Aldi's going to have to... Um, Aldi's going to have to step it up, but I will probably always shop there at least from time to time. So, anyway, that is everything I got today at Lidl, and that is how it's pronounced. I confirmed it. So, if you don't say it that way, I would never correct you because I think that's kind of rude, but I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got here in my pretty little woven, um, throw from Aldi. It's very beautiful. I love the color. And I hope, I hope you have a great day and I will see you again really soon.